Hello and thank you for being here, and welcome to My Wife is DMC. I'm DMV and you're watching Husbando Home, a show where we take pop culture to pen and paper. So what have we got here today? As a continuation of our Elden Ring homebrew, we'll be looking over at two things, one for the DMs and one for the players, specifically at some of the skittery scions of the grafted variety, and of course, a new magic weapon as a reward for beating these spidery stabbers. Grafted Scion So when you leave the Chapel of Anticipation, or at least attempt to leave it, you encounter the first boss of the game, the Grafted Scion. This crawling mass of limbs and pain is faster than they look and probably makes them really hard to buy a watch for Christmas. The Grafted Scion has a decent AC of 16 thanks to that shield and an average HP of 104. They don't last very long if you can sustain the damage, but what makes them CR7? Let's take a look. They have fairly decent stats, the highest being Dexterity and the lowest being their Charisma, since I wager having a bunch of folks grafted on them makes it a little hard to have any sort of sense of self, especially if screaming and stabbing is their main method of communication. The saving throw bonuses are there just so that they don't get dumpstered by some hold monster or some other shutdown spell. Skills, well, acrobatics because, well, they have all the limbs to acrobat and perception just to add a small layer of challenge for parties that want to jump them in a surprise round. Languages was a little tough to get around for the Drafted Scion. I couldn't tell if they could speak or not, but I figured based on Roderica's description of the spider folk, narratively, perhaps they're not able to. So let's take a look at their traits. They have autonomous limbs, which allows them to close the distance or reposition around a target whenever they make an attack. The ornamental straight sword is a magic weapon and trust me, I'll get there in a bit. In terms of closing the distance, they have a heck of a leap. Now, if you notice, there's golden tempering here. This is something that they can activate when they're at half HP and then they buff their sword attacks with 1d4 radiant damage. This is just to keep things interesting against the party when they think they're winning. They use the ornamental straight swords, which I determined to be a short sword to allow for two-weapon fighting without issue. They can attack thrice with the swords and then choose whether to use a shield slam or any of their other bonus actions that they can do. If they're overwhelmed from all sides, they can do a scream ability, although the DC isn't particularly hard to beat. Still, that's a decent 66 or half for each creature around them. Going back to the bonus actions, they can do a cheeky sideswipe that allows them to attack and disengage at the same time, just like the rolling ability that they do in the game. Alternatively, they can go into a standing fencing stance. This allows them to use their reaction to make two extra sword attacks if there's a creature within 5 feet of them, or do a sweeping spin if there are more creatures within the area. For their legendaries, they can move or attack for one action, or they can do a leaping attack for two actions to close the distance and potentially knock someone prone. So the Grafted Scion is an early game challenge. Their individual attacks aren't too bad, but the number of attacks can really pile on, especially if they decide to focus on one character. I wager any decent third level party can take them down. So what do you get if you do? Well... Ornamental Straight Swords If you are really skilled in Elden Ring, not me, you can get this cool new item at the very start of the game, if you beat the Grafted Scion from the very beginning. But for our homebrew, you get the Ornamental Straight Swords Magic Weapon. This plus one weapon allows you to dual wield for free by creating a magical copy of itself, although the copy does disappear if you let go of either sword. Ash of War is Golden Tempering. This one allows you to do what the Grafted Scion did and add 1d4 radiant damage to your attacks. As a bonus, you can use a bonus action to make two attacks instead of one when you use two weapon fighting. If this is your first time here or my Elden Ring homebrew, remember to check out the Ko-Fi document in the description to really get to the meat of the systems involved. I hope you had a good time because next video we'll be tackling the demigod of grafting himself. Leave a like before you go and remember to share this video with your kids. This has been my wife is the MC. I'm DMV and I'll see you in the next Husbando Homebrew.